The Nintendo Switch is crushing it in sales. We now have updated sales figures for the Switch, and I kind of jokingly projected that uh, during a live stream, I believe, that it would hit 70 million in the next fiscal update. Well, it didn't hit 70 million, but it came damn, damn close. In fact, it is so close that Nintendo has updated their projected sales forecast for the Switch for their fiscal year through March of 2021 from 19 million units to 24 to 25 million units, a 5 to 6 million unit increase. So why is Nintendo doing that? Well, well, let's take a look at the data. So as you can see, the Nintendo Switch is now sitting at 68 Point three zero million units. If you look at home consoles, that makes it Nintendo's second best selling home console of all time, officially passing the family computer Famicom or N slash NES, which was at 61.91. We are now seeing the uh, Nintendo Switch itself at 68.3. Now, it has not passed any of the handheld units yet, but before the fiscal year is out, it has a very good chance of surpassing the Nintendo 3DS in sales. And then next up after that, I believe is, let me see here, what do you got? Game Boy at, at 118? Or is it Game Boy Advance? Game Boy Advance at 81.51 actually. So that's next on docket for it as the Switch is now going to be looking to climb the handheld sales chart and start to become one of Nintendo's best selling systems of all time. Nintendo does still consider Switch a home console. So in terms of that, it is basically a top tier seller. Uh, we have some additional data here as well. Uh, if we look at the actual financial report here, um, we, these are all the income and expenses. Nintendo made a ton of money. That's pretty much the grand takeaway from this is they made a ton of money. Most of their money is made in the Americas, uh, North America specifically. But Nintendo made a bunch of profits. Um, we're not going to go over the exact profit numbers because that's not really that relevant uh, to us as gamers other than knowing that Nintendo is making hand over fist money. Uh, but when you go to the business highlights, we'll skip over the games. We're going to talk about that later. We see the Nintendo Switch uh, family sell-through. So total sell-through for Japan, North America, and Europe. Uh, the sell-through momentum continues even after the summer sales season. Quarter 2 results exceed the same period last year during which the Nintendo Switch Lite was launched. So it's exceeding all. A new, a new system launch. Global cumulative sell through more than 63 million units. We already know it's at 68. Um, and what's interesting here is you can see, you know, quarter one in all four years, the Switch has been on the market, and uh, quarter two, and yeah, it's, it, the quarter one, it was already dominating. Quarter two, it's dominating. Um, yeah, now this percentage here is Switch Lights um, versus this. Obviously, Switch Lite had a bigger percentage last year being a launch system, but yeah, it's Switch Lite is... Um, helping but uh nintendo switch itself just the base unit is outselling switch lights launch last year so that's that's insane um scrolling on down uh you'll see some other information in here um nintendo first party titles key indicators digital sales indicators uh all the way down into something i already covered which is their updated uh release site we'll get into the games and the software later but i wanted to kind of talk about this on its own because to me, it's quite amazing that the comeback Nintendo has. You go from a home console that sold 13 million. You go from a uh, you know 3DS system, which while it sold 75 million units, is actually the worst selling Nintendo handheld system ever, right behind the Game Boy Advance. You start to realize that Nintendo's onto something here with the Switch. Its cumulative sales are likely going to surpass the Wii U and 3DS combined, which is around 89 million units. Switch is going to probably pass that up. Switch might even pass the Nintendo. Nintendo Wii, Nintendo's best-selling home console, and then we have to start talking about, can it touch the DS? Can it touch the Game Boy at 118? And if Nintendo does another hardware refresh with a Pro model that's in the same family of units, it gets to count for the sales, just like a new 3DS would, is Nintendo's momentum going to continue again for another three years? Like, are we at Switch's peak right now, or are we heading into the Switch's peak where 2021 is going to actually sell even better? And this is really interesting when you consider there's next-gen platforms on the horizon, but really, it's the, you know, Switch that is just holding down the fort and being steady. Uh, I mean, to give you an example of the impact of COVID, you know, everyone's talking about how Switch sales increased because of COVID. Well, one thing that's happened is Nintendo's digital sales are up 139% year over year. I know I saw the talk about software in a different video, but I feel like this kind of shows that the demand for Nintendo games is at an all-time high, uh, even if people don't leave their home. So, 
I think that the Switch might be entering potentially its best sales season next year. Now, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what big titles carry the year. Obviously, we, we know about a couple that, that start the year. we got Monster Hunter Rise in March. Uh, you know, there's Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury in February. Uh, you know, potentially Pokemon Snap, potentially Bayonetta 3, potentially Metro Prime 4. I think a sure bet for next year is Breath of the Wild, the sequel. I'm, I'm, I'm just really certain that's coming next year for the 35th anniversary of Zelda. Uh, plus, it's been five years since the last mainline Zelda game that was new, not counting. You know, Link's Awakening was... For those who don't know, Link's Awakening was actually like a, a remake, a remaster of an old Game Boy game. So, yeah, I, I think that uh, that we're, we're on track, despite COVID this year, to see Breath of the Wild next year, uh, Breath of the Wild, the sequel next year. So it's it's going to be a huge year for Nintendo. I think there's going to be a Pokemon game coming out next year. Pokemon Sword and Shield, you know, is a 19, 20 million seller. Let's Go was an 11, 12 million seller. So clearly, no matter what they do with Pokemon, uh, in terms of a new game, it's going to explode and really help with Switch sales. So yeah, I, I actually see Switch having another 20 plus million selling year next year. Now, can they top this current fiscal year? I don't know. Nintendo is setting records right now. Breaking records, breaking sales records, breaking individual month sales records. It's it's absolutely insane right now. I mean, even if you want to look at sales right now, it sold like 66,000 units just in Japan last week on the back of Pikmin 3 Deluxe selling like 179,000 for launch, which is a really good launch for Pikmin. So honestly, Nintendo is just keeping the momentum rolling and we, we got Age of Calamity coming up for this holiday. How's that going to do? I don't know. We technically have updated sales for Super Mario 3D All-Stars as well. Some people might be actually a little disappointed by those sales, but we'll, we'll talk about that in the software sales update video I plan I have coming up, I think, next after this one. But thank you guys uh, for tuning in, and I, I hope that this was an informative video for you, a good look at Nintendo sales figures, how well Switch is doing, how exciting it is to uh, be a Switch owner, and how there's a future healthy platform here where Nintendo's going to get many games to come. And whether you're for or against game streaming, Nintendo has now set up their system to get next-gen games on the Switch through streaming. So Nintendo is, is kind of setting their platform up to be around for quite some time. Uh, and that is good news as well. So I think at this point, everything's looking good for Nintendo. There's just a, a few lingering things out there. Joy-Con Drift. That's a lingering thing that's out there. Uh, might be the lingering thing that's out there. And obviously a better online system. But again, that's probably not getting addressed anytime soon. Nintendo doesn't seem to address online systems until the next generation hits. And are they really going to address it? <laughs> I mean, we got rid of friend codes and we brought them back. That was already like, why, Nintendo? You had everything figured out. You had it in the bag. But it is what it is. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.